the player is about a guy named Alex, Alex Kane, who colors outside the lines. He's an ex-FBI systems analyst who goes rogue, uh, gets himself a place in Las Vegas and helps out his, uh, his friends on the police force. And he gets wrapped up in a high concept conspiracy in the animal and the machine that is Las Vegas, uh, where the wealthiest people in the world are gambling on crime. Having Wesley on the show is just a game changer for us. He's a phenomenal actor. He can obviously handle the action. He's just this, you know, he's this guy who brings it to another level. So when you're doing scenes with Wesley, when you're working with him outside of the show, he just, you know, his whole persona and his professionalism just brings it up so many notches. And that's, you know, that's so good. We can't, you can't buy that kind of talent. Yeah, we had a, I mean, we had a really quick little scene and it was great because you basically, you don't work with people very often where you can just look at them and say, so what would you do? What would you do in this situation? And, and, and I woke up on the floor. Uh, he, <laughs> he's, so, he's so fantastic. It all comes out of a place of reality too. I think what's really neat about Wesley is his, you know, the reason for making a move because it's so in tune in his body, the reason for making it is totally you know, it's the next step that you would do. It's not wasted energy or anything like that. So watching him work and watching him choreograph something is really, it's, you know, it's fantastic and really entertaining. With Wesley, he's so in tune with how his body works and with his martial arts and the discipline that he's had over the years that you step in there and you, you have to trust him. I mean, he's so fast and everything's like grease lightning. You have no chance of stopping it or, you know, <laughs> or even seeing it coming. So you just have to go, look, you're the boss now. Do what you need to do, and I'll react accordingly. Alex is working on a job of his own, and it crosses over into the game of the house because the house is monitoring a crime that Alex is, you know, is becoming a part of. So those two worlds collide, and Alex gets involved in the house. The people who bet on the crimes, the gamblers, they see that Alex is a very capable individual, and they say, hey, this could make it very interesting for us, and we could make some money from this guy. So they request that Alex becomes the player. Mr. Johnson sees this. Cassandra sees this. And again, everybody has an ulterior motive. Cassandra has one, Mr. Johnson has one, and Alex has one. So when they do collide in the house, and Alex is asked to join this secret society, he, uh, he totally has, you know, he has an absolute hidden agenda that he's bringing to the table. Charity's fantastic. I, you know, the hardest thing for me is not slipping into a British accent because, <laughs> because she's, she's British and she's playing the character British, which is great. It was such a smart choice to have this, this dynamic and this voice from her. And she's just, you know, Charity does these things. She does these nuanced performances, which are so beautiful. And there's a, there's a one in the pilot where Alex says he'll join them and he gives her, she gives him the phone and then he walks away and she does this thing with her face, which goes from sort of neutral to just fear and tender and, and it just and it happens in the blink of an eye and she's she's so good at doing that kind of stuff so working with her is you know we're very fortunate we have a very we have a very solid cast Damon Gupton plays Cal Brown who is um, who is Alex Kane uh, friend in the police department Cal's great and you know Damon's great too because everything is just butter with Damon everything that he says like Damon could read the phone book and it would sound amazing he's got he's got this this beautiful voice and he's just got this beautiful delivery and the way he kind of everything has so much gravitas to it but also is kind of thrown away at the same time so working with him is fantastic and the relationship between Cal and Alex is going to be very interesting we're going to explore how these guys became friends they know they're lying to each other but their friendship is more important to them than those lies and so they somehow manage to scrape through each episode learning more about each other but also hiding things from each other as those things are discovered I play Alex Kane, who is a ex-FBI systems analyst who colors outside the lines. He doesn't play by the rules very well. He likes to break the rules as often as possible, um, which is probably why he ends up in Vegas, which is a beast of a town and its own has its own set of rules, you know, un unto itself. Um, Alex is a security expert and has a security firm in Las Vegas. And through having this security firm, he takes care of very high-class uh, people who come to town to play and to gamble and to do things like that. In the middle of one of these jobs, the family that he's taking care of, uh, their daughter gets kidnapped. And Alex, of course, because it's his job, is in high pursuit, in hot pursuit of this, of this girl. He then gets mixed up in this uh, organization called The House. And The House is a company, uh, a group of people that gamble on crime. They have technology that can sort of predict when a crime is about to happen, and then they place a bet, and then 
they have a player that comes in and, uh, and sort of influences the bet. Behind the drama and the action of the player, we have this amazing backdrop that is Las Vegas. I mean, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas most of the time. But on this show, we're blowing it off of the screen, and Vegas becomes its own character. It has, uh, you know, it has it has a life and a movement all of its own that all the characters, not just some of them, but all the characters get wrapped up in and influenced by. And that's kind of what Vegas does. It has such an energy and a vibrancy about it that it really is this other player behind the scene and this other character that's moving everybody forward.